Right, welcome to today's session with Tegris Consulting. My name is Jarrett Donaldson and I'm a consultant here on the team. And what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to create a basic query or report you might need for your company. And you know, this is something very beneficial on how to know how to use and do because a lot of times when you first start using SAP Business One, you'll you'll find all the custom reports that come with it. But off times, you're going to need some specific reports to your company with additional fields or, or different calculations or vice versa. And you can do that in what's called a query. And this can be as advanced of a query or as basic a query as you need. Um, but if you do, if you know a little bit of SQL, you can go ahead and you know, create a little uh, select statement that will give you what you need. And so you don't have to be a coding expert to do this. SAP has provided some tools to help you generate these types of queries and they're located up here under tools queries and then query generator and query wizard there's two different uh, I guess tools you can use to create these queries today I'm going to show you how to use the generator um, so we're going to click on it and it's going to pull you up a little window here And for those that are familiar with SQL um, you can see this is the the normal you know statements that you'll use the select the from the where sort by group by and what you'll do is you'll actually just you know let the query generator know what table inside of SAP you're referencing and then just select the the columns that you want to display you can go in as advanced or, or or basic as you need and I'm gonna do really basic today and just show you a basic report about business partners and so if you don't know the code of the table that the business partner details are stored I'm gonna show you a quick way to do that you can come over here to the business partner click on the normal field where your your code or your data is stored that you want to reference and you can either pull up an existing one or, or leave it there but if you come here to view and system information you can hover over fields and so you can see if I hover over the the customer code down in the bottom left down here it's going to go away as soon as I leave my mouse but if you look down here when I hover over you'll see the very last two pieces of information is OCRD and card code and those two pieces of information are telling you what's the table that stores this information and then what's the actual field or column. So what we're looking for is that four digit code called OCRD and that's what we're going to use when creating this query. So if we come up here in this box and type in OCRD and then click tab and tab's important you don't click this button or vice versa you're going to click tab it's going to then put it down here in this list and then show you all the available columns for that table. And so what we're going to do is select, let's say we want to know in this report the actual um, code of the customer, the customer name, and then we want to know their you know, phone number, uh, you know, whatever. You can scroll down and find really whatever you'd like. You know, what, what, what's their email address, uh, what's their cellular phone number, and vice versa. And then also, you can bring in other pieces of information from other tables. So you see all these bold um, columns here, or rows. Those mean that that's a link to another table. So let's, let's find one that we might want to do. So cut, let's say group code. This is going to show us the, the group of the, the business partner. And it's going to show you a number. So if you wanted to pull other piece of information, like the name of that code, you would want to bring over this table as well. So you can simply click on it drag it, hold down, and then drop it right over here, and it's going to add that table and automatically do the coding for you of joining those two tables together. And so now, instead of showing the, the group number or whatnot, I can add the group name or the price list associated with it. I'm just going to do the group name and then go back to the OCR detail while clicking on that and then pull in whatever else I want. Let's say, uh, let's find something else here that could be beneficial you know maybe they're you know you need their credit card or whatever you can do that and so if you simply just want to display all the records you know all the business partners you can finish here and click execute and it will show it for you or you can have the option to you know do little filters with the where function you know you can do a sorting and then also grouping by um, a certain feature as well so for today I'll show you a little bit about sorting so let's say we want to um, do a let's see what we want to sort by 
let's find something here. Maybe let's do card code. So we'll come up here and click in the box and we want to do select card code and we want to only display the card codes that start with the letter A and I think I only have one but what you can do is click on this conditions button and it's going to show you a list of conditions and variables that you can use so we can go ahead and do you know starts with ends with contains we're going to do starts with so you have to actually click in the box you see I didn't click in the box but once you do there space and then starts with it's going to do that and then we can click here and in this little um, blank spot we can do the letter that we want so we're going to do starts with A and it's just basically saying it has that and then some wild cards and so vice versa if you need to add variables like a little pop-up window to prompt you maybe you're filtering by dates but you want to enter the date manually and not here you can enter that as a variable you could say where the date equals or is greater than the variable. If you click this variable up here, it will input it there. But we'll, we'll start and satisfy with this. And if, if I did everything correctly, I'll click execute and it will actually work. Otherwise, it will give me an error message. So this one worked. You know, I had already checked it. But it's showing all of the business partners that start with letter A. So I only have one. It shows me the telephone number, their email address, the mobile phone if it's valid the actual code that they're associated with and then the credit cards and obviously I don't have that entered in it's showing a negative there but you can play around with it and if you had a mistake like that you can go back and try different things so this is um, a little basic overview of how you can do a little query and get you some basic information that you'll need um, for for a basic little re custom report and I can save this if I want to use it over and over again I can come in here and click save so you, I can create a folder that I want to put it into. I can put it in a custom folder. I select the folder it wants to go into, give it a name. We can call it BP Data. And if you click Save, it's going to save that now under that field. So you can go back in and pull the same query over and over again. And then you can even you know export this query to an Excel file or copy the data and paste it wherever you'd like. So I'll show you how to get back into the query once you've created it. You can come in here to the Query Manager go into your folder find the one you just created BP data and sure enough there it is or you can come up here to the tool section queries user queries general and BP data so that's a little bit of basics about creating a, a, a query you can get more advanced and maybe look out for another video from us on doing advanced queries but thank you for tuning in today and uh, please take a look at our other videos for more tips and tricks on using SAP Business One.